The COVID-19 Response Fund is a joint partnership between United Way of Central Carolinas and the Foundation for the Carolinas. In a matter of days, this fund has raised more than $10 million, some million dollar donations from major businesses and corporations, and some individuals giving what they can from five to 10 to $20. Right now, I'm joined by Laura Yates Clark, the president and CEO of United Way of Central Carolinas, and Michael Marsicano, president and CEO of the Foundation for the Carolinas. Thank you both for joining us. Um, Michael, I want to first start with you about the goal of the fund, the intention of it, and to try to clarify for some of those who've been sending in questions about the effort. Well, Erica, thank you for covering this important humanitarian effort that we're all involved in. Uh, there isn't a specific dollar level goal. Um, we've never faced anything quite like this, so it's very hard to judge how much money will be needed. We know we need to raise a lot of money, and so we've begun doing that. And to your point, it's actually been a very uh, recent effort about a week ago. And in that time frame, we've already come up over $10 million. Uh, the first gift was from Lending Tree. Uh, Doug Lebda, the CEO, called us uh, about creating a fund at the same time Laura and I were thinking about creating a fund. So it's a great mind moment. Uh, the purpose of the fund is to uh, be able to fund nonprofits who are providing direct services to or individuals who are in dire circumstances, whether it be shelter, whether it be uh, economic security, uh, whether it be uh, utility payments and other great needs as people are finding themselves in very challenging economic times. We are also wanting to make sure that the nonprofits who serve those uh, individuals are healthy enough to be able to keep serving them so that we can get the resources to those that need. It is not a fund for small businesses. Uh, companies are supporting the fund philanthropically, but it will not go to small businesses. However, if their employees are in difficult situations, they can contact us at 211 and find out where they can go through which nonprofit to best help them with what they're facing. Right, right. Laura, I know that part of that method is to give grants to some nonprofits and, of course, a grant application process that can take time. And I know this fund wants to have some flexibility. So how will the money be distributed and how quickly do you see it getting, you know, trickling to the people who need it the most? It's important that we try to have as expedited a process as possible while balancing accountability for the dollars that we've raised in the community. Mm -hmm. What we've done is create a grant process that will move much faster than what the United Way and the Foundations of the Carolinas typically do in a grant making situation, but that's so that we can get those dollars out as quickly as possible. A grants committee has been formed and has had an initial meeting, and we expect the initial round of grant awards to be announced later this week. The competitive grant process will open um, later this week as well, where really any eligible 501c3 nonprofit can apply. But we are doing everything we can to try to reduce the burden on our nonprofit partners in the grant making process. Michael, when you take a look at that process, do you think or identify any of the agencies that, that might be kind of in line to get some of the funding first and when? Well, we have begun to uh, work with the groups that we know are on the front lines, the ones that we are already able to decipher that they are experiencing uh, uh, increased um, uh, requests for uh, assistance. And so this first round of grants, the grants committee is deciding which of the organizations that we can get some money right out now who can uh, handle that uh, level of money coming through us and to get it to the folks that, that need it. All right, thanks to both of you as we stand together to help our community through this. Again, we wanna let everyone know about this fund. It will help nonprofit agencies support many of our neighbors who before now might have never needed assistance. Um, if you'd like to donate or learn more about the COVID-19 response fund, go to helpsharmec.org.